Pursuant to Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADOT does not discriminate on the basis of race, color, national origin, age, sex, or disability. Persons who require a reasonable accommodation based on language or disability should contact Dana Mann at 855-712-8530 or dmann at azdot.gov. Requests should be made as early as possible to ensure the state has an opportunity to address the accommodation. Since 2019, the Arizona Department of Transportation, or ADOT, has been conducting a study to improve Interstate 10, or I-10, and the crossroads between the Loop 202 and State Route 387 across the Gila River Indian Community, also referred to as the Community. This study has been conducted in coordination with the Community, the Federal Highway Administration, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the Maricopa Association of Governments, and nearby local communities. ADOT is proposing to convert the I-10 interchanges at Wild Horse Pass Boulevard and SR-347 Queen Creek Road to diverging diamond interchanges, also known as a DDI. While DDIs are increasingly common across the United States, they are relatively new to Arizona, with only four in operation today. This video will demonstrate how a DDI operates from several different perspectives, using the I-10 SR-347 Queen Creek interchange as an example. ADOT chose the DDI design because of its safety, operational, and cost benefits. DDIs can reduce the number and severity of crashes compared to traditional diamond interchanges while reducing traffic congestion. The design handles heavy turning movements better than other interchange types. A DDI can be constructed with a smaller footprint and a lower cost compared to other interchange types by reusing the existing bridge. This also means fewer impacts on the local community during the construction process. DDIs work by crossing traffic to the left side of the road at signalized intersections. This allows left-turning vehicles to freely enter the freeway without having to cross in front of oncoming traffic. Let's look at some of the traffic movements at the SR-347 Queen Creek Interchange so you can understand how to navigate the DDI. Let's first look at how an exit ramp will work. For this example, we will focus on the eastbound I-10 exit to SR-347 and Queen Creek Road. It is important to note that the westbound I-10 exit would be similar. Heading eastbound on I-10, you will continue onto the exit ramp as you do now to SR-347 Queen Creek Road. As you approach the intersection, if you want to go south on SR-347, you would stay in one of the right two lanes. When your signal turns green, you would merge with southbound SR-347 similar to how this movement operates today. Drivers who want to go east on Queen Creek Road towards Chandler would stay in the left lane of the exit ramp. As you approach the end of the ramp, you will see a signal. When the signal is green, turn left and merge with the eastbound Queen Creek traffic. After crossing over I-10, you will approach the signalized intersection where you will follow the lane markings and cross over to the right side of the road and continue east on Queen Creek Road like you do today. Next, let's look at how traffic enters I-10 from northbound SR-347. The westbound Queen Creek Road to I-10 movements would be similar. If you are heading northbound on SR-347 approaching I-10, you would enter eastbound I-10 toward Tucson by using the right turn lane. To enter I-10 westbound towards Phoenix, you would continue north on SR-347 in the left two lanes, following the pavement markings and road signs. At the signalized intersection, you will follow the lane markings and cross over to the left side of SR-347. Once you have crossed over I-10, you will be able to make a free flow left turn onto I-10, merging as you do today. This continuous flow left turn is one of the main efficiencies and safety benefits of the DDI configuration. Next, let's look at how traffic on the cross street passes through the interchange. For this example, we will focus on westbound Queen Creek Road to southbound SR-347. The northbound SR-347 to eastbound Queen Creek Road would be similar. If you are traveling westbound on Queen Creek Road and want to continue southbound onto SR-347 toward Maricopa, 
you would stay left approaching the intersection following the pavement markings and road signs. At the signalized intersection, you will cross over to the left side of the road. Once you have passed over I-10, you will approach another intersection with the eastbound traffic, which will cross you back to the right side of the road where you can continue to your destination to the west. The DDI also allows for pedestrians to safely cross over the bridge on sidewalks. The pedestrian routes are unique to a DDI configuration. Crosswalks will guide pedestrians through the intersection, allowing them to cross to the sidewalk in the median of Queen Creek Road over I-10, separated from traffic with concrete barriers. The DDI will also incorporate routes for bicyclists traveling through the interchange. Like the pedestrian routing, bicycle routes are also unique for a DDI. However, from the rider's perspective, little changes as they will stay on the right side of the roadway through the interchange, just as they would with any other interchange. We are excited to propose this new interchange configuration to the corridor users, along with the improved operational safety benefits associated with this modern DDI design. For more information about the I-10 DDI interchange designs at SR347 Queen Creek Road or Wild Horse Pass Boulevard, please visit www.i10wildhorsepasscorridor.com.